Oh my god. My name is Jurgen Pedersen. I'm the president and CEO of RE Squared Robotics. And uh, our purpose is to make robotic technologies, primarily robotic arms, that uh, save lives or improve quality of life. So the company's been around for 16 years and it's gone through an evolution. In the early years, we were a contract engineering firm. Then we transformed into a government R&D contractor solving really hard problems for the government. How important is uh, government contracts to the robotics industry? I, I actually think it's fairly critical because it's, it's providing that seed fund for innovation and it allows you to really explore in many different areas. We got our first entry into the market by getting a small business innovation research grant back in 2005 and it exposed us to a new market which was explosive ordnance disposal, EOD. Right, so dealing with roadside bombs, dealing with IEDs, this is in the thick of the Iraq and Afghanistan wars and there was a lot of need for robotics technology. So these robotic arms are used to do those dirty, dull and dangerous tasks, right? And oftentimes you still need the human intellect and that skilled labor to perform those tasks. So the question is, how can we uh, project that human capability remotely? It's, it's not a coincidence that these robots robots look like human torsos. The more like a human it is, the easier it is, or more intuitive it is for a human to control it. And since a human's still in the loop, having that intuitive form factor and something that you're very familiar with is a critical way to make these systems effective, you know, day one. However he moves these arms is exactly what the real system does. Because right now what they use in the field is an Xbox controller. So once you have this imitative control, now you have full control over all aspects of the arm. Normally he would be looking through a screen and watching what he's seeing through this, these cameras. And over time, you can keep him improving, because it's a modular system, the different types of sensors that you put on here. And modularity brings the ability to rapidly adapt to new situations, new missions, new tasks, new markets. It also, allows a company to specialize in one area. And uh, those companies can come together, integrate those through some standard interfaces, and then provide a solution uh, where you're getting the best of breed at that point, not just uh, the offering of one company, but the offering of several companies who are experts in their domain. I, I have to ask, you know, you, you, you could potentially see how a system like this could lead to a device-based or a robot-based warfare system. Yeah, I mean, what we're focused on is saving lives and improving quality of life. You know, yes, people can use this technology for other means, but that, what our charter is, is uh, saving lives and then also extending it into new markets like healthcare where we can now do patient assist, help a person from a wheelchair to a bed or a wheelchair to a toilet, serving as the brawn for a caregiver. So these are the, these are the markets that we're looking to get into uh, down the road. You guys are cool if we're here for the next six hours as I try to open this thing, right? You got it. You got it. Oh, <laughs> oh no.